I was born in a little town called Havana, Arkansas. I learned to work hard with my dad. I guess he didn't even have a high school education. My father-in-law would take me when I'd go to Abilene with him out on the wells. He finally said, well, Scotty, I went to Texas and I took geology and that's a wonderful school and you should think about being a geologist. Well, I made that decision due to his encouragement and he made me loans that we li helped live on when we were at Texas. I couldn't have asked for a better place than the University of Texas. It's one of the best universities in the world and that I was lucky enough to be able to get an education there. You have everything you ever want, particularly in the geological and the sciences. And they had professors that were fantastic. And we went on field trips. I loved the field trips, I loved the outdoors. I loved it so much that when I would travel to Abilene, from there I'd stop at the roadside where they'd been working on the road and look at outcrops. I would meet geologists, look at their samples and things like that. They influenced me tremendously. And uh, I'd sit up at two o'clock in the morning, you know, studying and then get up early, six or seven o'clock, and head out for school or be there in time to, for classes. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'd gotten my degree. A little company called Penzoil contacted me and I went to work for Penzoil in 65. Because of it, I've been all over the world. Geology is such a broadening thing for you. It's just one of the best fields you could ever get into. You go to the mountains and look at the rocks and you understand how they got there and the depositional systems and all those type of things. So being a geologist is a foundation for a really a wonderful, wonderful continuance of learning. One of the things that I've always said is you gotta be truthful, you gotta work hard, you gotta listen to people, have confidence in people, and let them have confidence in you. And that will make you a leader. And it's through being a leader and having the right people working with you that you gain what you've gained. You don't do it on your own. Mm -hmm. We're a team. We're oh, a team absolutely. in the important things in life. If he was excited about it and he wanted it, <laughs> I was excited about it for him. He works hard but he loves what he does. And I think it's sad to go through life and not enjoy what you, what you do. are doing. My wife and I, we've been so fortunate. We've been able to not worry about anything and live that good life. And, and that's the reason we want to give back. And I want to help people that want to be helped. I mean, it truly will utilize the help to grow themselves. Geology is always changing. Earth is changing. These people getting these geological educations are going to be our leaders. Your maturity process is in college. What we would like to have happen after we're gone is the endowments that we have set up can keep growing and be available for future generations to grow and understand and have better lives. And I think that's important. It's, it's critically important. I've had some of the most beautiful letters from some of these students that have received uh, some of these scholarships. So grateful. I'll guarantee you, these kids that are getting this help now, that when they really need it, you watch. They will be the ones that will give back and that will continue the process of educating people in the fields that you give to. I'll go to the grave staying active long as I have the friends that I have that are doing things that I want to do, and we do them together, as long as I have my sweet, sweet wife, I'll continue. <laughs>